Praxis, and Josh and I are both on site today, and Josh has been working on all of these little holes, getting them filled with putty, been doing a great job on that. Uh, well, I also found out, if you guys recall, there was a uh, situation where just way too much putty had been put on. Well, it, it seems like maybe it was a blessing in disguise, because that putty has been all kind of chipping off, and it seems like that whole thing of putty was bad anyway. So. Kind of nice. Uh, we had a second crack at it, and uh, if Josh had not put it all on those posts, we would have had to have cleaned it up off of the entire house. Uh, you know, once we found that it was starting to flake off, so that actually worked out pretty well. And he's putting on high quality, fresh putty, and yeah, that's all going great. Uh, I've been working on this wall today. I got all these uh, studs uh, prepped yesterday, and I'm putting it up, and I just started doing the, the sheathing on there. Uh, and that, uh, I'm putting the sheathing on this side so that I can work on a lot of the electrical work and it'll just be easier for me to work on the electrical work here versus you know having to be on ladder over there. Actually, on the topic of electrical, that's been kind of um, some bad news for the day. Uh, I found out that while it is completely fine in this state to work on electrical wiring in your house if you have a pre-existing house and you want to like add additional runs, you know, from you know, wiring that's already there, that's totally fine, but if you have a clean slate and you know everything that's there and you're just starting from scratch, you can't do your own wiring in this state, which seems kind of upside down and backwards, like practically every other regulation, because I would tend to think that uh, as a layperson, if you're approaching walls and you don't even know how much wiring is in those walls and you don't know what the gauge of the wire is inside the walls and everything, and you got all these unknowns, that seems like kind of like the, the worst possible situation for you to be adding on to that since you kind of don't know what's there. It's sort of like building a house when you don't know what foundation is underneath and how much weight it can take and, and all that. Uh, so it's, it's totally backwards. If there was going to be any situation where it would be safe for someone to do their own wiring, it would be this where you know exactly what's been done and there's no question marks. But there you go. Um, that I found out about that. So I'm kind of boxed into hiring uh, the electrician, which was illegally installing the electrical box, uh, or someone else that's like a devil that I don't know. Um, but I, it sounds like I have to hire them, and they said that they wouldn't mind if I did some of the wiring runs, and I guess I'm just going to have to double check all their work. You know, like every electrical box that they wire up, I'm going to pull out and make sure they actually snug things down and, and everything because I, I have had a 100% failure rate with every single electrician I've ever hired, ever. 100% of the time they screw something up, either some, they make something illegal or they make something messy, they always make things messy, uh, or they, in one situation I had uh, them all, almost start a fire because of something that they did that with the, the gauge of the wire that they chose for the application. So uh, I'm definitely going to have to just double check all their work uh, and not let them make any holes, you know, without explicit permission from me. I'm really bothered by that. I, I hate the idea that you're strong-armed into hiring someone that experience has told me is going to be a problem. They're going to do a, a lot of bad shit, but i got to hire them anyway. It, sounds like, it just feels like I'm in like a corrupt country and you got to hire this dude's cousin or whatever, if you want to get the permit. But anyway, that's the bad news. But the good news is things are going well, structure's going up. Uh, and this right here, this is a, it's going to be a window. I'll be able to open this up so that I can access this window here and open it and close it, because otherwise it's all open now in there and I, can't, I couldn't get to that otherwise. So things are going all right. There's the usual kind of irritations, but that's just, that's the nature of the process. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. So if you ever do it, you'll know that you're going to be irritated too. Thanks for watching.